set in Nebraska's sand hills, the Dismal River is one of the state's most scenic rivers and is a destination for paddlers looking for a challenging river to explore. One of the access points is right off Highway 97 in Hooker County. From there, you can almost see a scour hole of magnificent proportions. The hole is over 80 feet deep and 100 feet across. It didn't just happen overnight. Erosion on this scale takes time. It takes decades. But with the road a mere 75 feet away, something has to be done. This video will show how the Nebraska Department of Roads addresses the problem. Opinions differ on the exact trigger for the erosion, but three factors contributed to continuing the process. Concentrated flow of runoff from Highway 97 and the surrounding area was collected in an asphalt ditch on the west side of the road. The outfall from the drop pipe accelerated the erosion as the distance between it and the scour floor widened. Non-cohesive soils. Although the soils are well drained, they have very little cohesion or structure. The fibrous roots of various grasses and forbs stabilize the soils and protect them from abrasive wind and rainfall. Concentrated runoff can quickly destabilize the root soil nexus. Once loosened, the fine-grained sand and silt are easily dislodged by high winds or concentrated flows. Groundwater seepage, or piping, because the sands are well drained, most rain and snow quickly infiltrate and permeate the soil profile. This is the groundwater that provides the Dismal River with a stable base flow. Embedded in the sand are layers of fine silt and clay that slow the downward movement of water and cause it to move laterally. The sand above these layers becomes saturated and less stable. At an open face like the scour hole, soils above the saturated layer may collapse as the saturated foundation under them shifts. So now the question for roadway engineers is how to stop the erosion, protect the traveling public, and preserve the highway. The Department of Roads develops a plan to divert the runoff from the west side of Highway 97 into a culvert that runs under the east side and outlets into the river. To prevent the same accelerated erosion from occurring on the east side of the road, dikes are built across the ditch to divert stormwater into four drop structures connected to the new pipe. The ditch and dikes are protected with a coir erosion control blanket and coir wattles. On the other side of the road, at the bottom of the scour hole, a drain tile system is designed to collect the seepage water and pipe it to a stable point. With the presumed source of the erosion diverted, the next question is how to fill the scour hole and where to get the fill. The Department of Roads turns to contractors with expertise in Sandhills earthwork to see if they think it would be feasible to fill this small canyon. Borrow is available north of the hole. The contractors and NDOR agree that the project is doable, but extra precautions will be needed to protect the river and stabilize the fill. Quare and low porosity silt fence are installed to protect the river from grading operations. Earth berms are constructed temporarily and permanently to slow any runoff that might concentrate on the surface. Slowly and carefully, the contractors move the fill. The 
final challenge is how to stabilize the fill once it's placed. Usually, disturbed areas are seeded and mulched, and vegetation is able to establish quickly and prevent erosion. The sandhills, however, do not grow grass quickly. The soils are obviously draughty. Wind erosion is a severe risk in the absence of vegetation, and what will grow doesn't provide continuous or heavy cover. The department develops a detailed stabilization plan that keys on five components. Salvage and place the top six inches of native soil. It holds an invaluable seed bank of adapted species and soil microorganisms. Stabilize the fill with a top dressing of manure, sand, and alkaline clay mixed and stockpiled by the Department of Roads. Apply hay after seeding native grasses and forbs to retain soil moisture and potentially provide additional seed. Use a modified erosion control blanket, primarily netting, to hold the mulch in place against high winds. And pin the netting down and capture additional moisture with coir wattles. Small as they are, they could also help slow surface wind velocities. Coir erosion control is also placed along the valley section of the fill. The project is now complete. Time will tell if the slope will hold and the seeds will grow.